Adamus, I understood you to say that we can now take our body with us when we leave the earth and come back any time we want and stay as long as we want. Have we always had that ability or is this that new because of the changes that are happening on earth or because of the individual higher level of consciousness? Do we really have to take the physical body with us in order to do this? Please clarify if this is a natural process to always take the essence of our body with us, or do we need to consciously decide to take hmm. it with us? It's always been a potential, uh, a potential to uh, bring your uh, physical body with you, but let me define that. It's not about literally taking the atoms and the molecules and all the rest of that. Uh, they, they don't transport very well into the other realms. It's about taking the essence of it, the, the, the essence. If you feel into it, you have, uh, you have your biology, but you also have its essence, its light. It's, uh, it, it's kind of like a memory. That's what you take with you, the innate knowingness of what it was like to be in time, space, biology. That's what you take. Now, the question is uh, about your physical body. Is it best to leave the, the body behind when you die, or it can also be kind of um, evaporated? It can be, uh, it doesn't necessarily come with you, but it just vanishes. Doesn't really matter. Personally, I like the idea of not leaving a bunch of bones and flesh behind because there is a bit of an energy resonance in in these things. You know, when they bury people, um, particularly when people don't understand where they go in death, they bury the people, and then they linger in the ground for a long time. You have a battlefield where where many die and and they're buried. That energy goes on for thousands and thousands and thousands of years and it generally takes uh, like a big natural disaster to cleanse it out. Uh, a fire, for instance, an earthquake, a flood or whatever, uh, shake some of those energies loose and get them out of there. So personally, I, I actually prefer letting the uh, biological body disintegrate, poof, it goes away, instead of leaving the bones and everything on, on the ground. But it ultimately kind of doesn't matter. Uh, you don't have to consciously say that you're going to take your, uh, leave your bones behind or let them disintegrate. Uh, you don't have to do that. It it just kind of happen. But at any point, if you feel that you can influence it, I I take them with you. Uh, this planet is filled with uh, spots. This planet is filled with. Uh, areas that are, the energies are so strong because of the uh, the flesh and bones that were buried by, that were left behind. Uh, Calder's asking me, does it help uh, then if it's cremated? And the answer is yes. Uh, I, I would take that uh, cremation before I took burial in the ground uh, because it it uh, basically burns everything, most everything off. But when humans bury in the ground, uh, it, you know, let's say let's say there is a indigenous burial ground, and what happens is they're buried in there. They're they're dead, but they're still kind of earthbound. Uh, they're living just a half a dimension away. Their physical body has died, but they don't necessarily realize that. They stay on that land. They continue to live um, with in their communities. It continues kind of on, but just in a non-physical realm. They don't necessarily know it. Um, the, the Anastasi Indians uh, of the Southwest American region, uh, they left together all at once. And their speculation, was it a natural disaster? Was it a UFO? Or did they all poison themselves? Uh, and it was it was a disease that actually came through, uh, wiped out the the whole population of the Anasazis uh, in a very short period of time, and they continued to live on uh, in in the very caves that they had built. Some of them are still there. You can feel them if you go there. And and Calder's asking me, well, what's wrong with that? Well, ultimately, in death, you want to. You want to go. You want to transition. In death, you 
don't want to just linger on earth as non-physical beings that scare the hell out of some people at times. You want to you want a total release and a renewal before coming back for another lifetime or in your case not coming back at all. Uh but bringing the essence of your light body. So that that's I know I've taken a lot of time on this question but it leads to uh leads to the understanding why certain areas have certain energy strong energies that you can feel why houses are haunted well because the the dead one is still earthbound uh, or part of them doesn't have to be all of them but a part of them is still earthbound why are certain regions uh hit hard by natural disaster fires uh things like that because there's a lot of lingering energy and at some level those who are still earthbound in it are calling out for release. Uh, they're tired of the old game. So something comes along, a fire, a flood, or earthquake, and helps to shake that energy loose. Uh, you'll be seeing more and more of that on this planet uh, in these coming years because uh, as Gaia uh, is leaving and humans are taking more responsibility, uh, there's a lot of these kind of um, energy places uh, with uh, those who are earthbound that are sensing it is time to be released. Uh, Gaia is no longer you know, holding all the energy in and cuddling it and everything. And they're saying, hey, it's time to get the hell out of here. Uh, something's happening on Earth and we, we need to make our true transition into the other realms. So you're going to see more and more places get affected. Uh, Calder's asking me right now, the, the recent fires in Hawaii on the island of Maui, it was about those who were old. Uh, there was a combination of burial grounds. Uh, there were fields of battle, and there were also uh, areas where there was a lot of. Uh, it was whaling areas. Uh, the, there was a lot of whaling that took place out of there, and a lot of very cruel, unconscious slaughtering in that area. And the energies are still there. The, you know, it leads to a question. Sorry, I'm just off on my own here today. It leads to the question, uh, for instance, is there something wrong with uh, with killing uh, an animal, a cow, for its meat, or a whale for its oil, or things like that? The real question is: is how do you do it? Is there an honoring? You know these. We had in the mystery schools uh, in Europe uh, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, the animals would literally come up to the door in sacrifice to say, I am now giving myself to you. I'm giving my flesh and bone to you uh, in service. My time has come. There was an honoring when we uh, killed the animal. Oh, it was a deep honoring of their journey, of our journey, of the energies that were involved. And it had quite of an effect both on the animal and on the way that meat was taken in and digested in our body. It was in resonance because of the honoring. Now, when you go and, and just brutally slaughter hundreds, thousands uh, or more uh, whales or whatever they happen to be, and it's a, it's a blood fest uh, and it's, it's disturbing uh, to see what some of the humans did. There was a there was a thirst for for killing. Then it's going to have an effect, and that's going to stay in the ground. That's going to stay in the people who did that, who die in that area later on, and are buried in the ground. There's a tremendous psychic energy that's there that's got to be released, and you're going to find more and more and more of that on the planet. Look into look into the area and its history, and you'll start to uncover. Why uh, there's a what appears to be a natural disaster taking place right now? Um, Calder is asking a question. Even right here at the studio, Crimson Circle, uh, where it's located in Louisville, Colorado, there was a devastating fire uh, last year. Uh, it burned a lot of homes. This isn't God getting angry with the humans. These are old energies waiting to be released. There was a lot of mining in this area, and prior to that, there was also uh, a lot of, uh, 
how do you say, um, Calder searching for the right word, a lot of barbaric uh, activities with with uh, indigenous, uh, the Indians and, and others in this area. And that goes into the ground, and it needs to be released somehow. In this case, it was a fire that came through. So uh, in, in answer to the question, um, Definitely, uh, it, when when you leave, uh, don't don't worry so much uh, about whether your the flesh and bones are evaporating or whatever. But um, it perhaps best to just do the uh, uh, burn the ashes type of thing. So um, thank you. Long long answer there. I'm sorry, but that automatically causes. I'm sure questions a lot of questions for all of us one in particular is in a situation like that knowing the history is there a way to mitigate this from happening yes what do you think the answer is dear linda respected releasing uh, yes but but that's what you're here for exactly is to bring your light okay. when the light is present there are times where it will actually Cause more shakeup, uh, but generally speaking, when the light is present, uh, a more graceful way of transitioning, releasing old energies will be found. Sometimes, though, the light upsets or, uh, or shakes things up, and it will cause a certain amount of um, disaster, catastrophe. But generally speaking, it brings a more graceful resolution. Uh, the people who lost their lives recently in Hawaii, uh, it's very recent news, so that's what I'm talking you about. In Maui. In Hawaii. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Maui. Uh, every one of them uh, that, and there's going to be a lot more that uh, the numbers are going to add up, uh, but every one of them had been there in the past and was part of a process in past lives that added to this energy, and many of them lost their lives in the fire uh, or as a result of the fire. And it wasn't random. It wasn't just like, oh, there happened to be a tourist that was here in town. They were back there as part of the releasing and the cleansing. And it's very sad to see or to read about uh, or to view on the news, but take it to a different level, have compassion, and understand that this wasn't just a freak accident. It was very much of a overall part of a cleansing, whether of the land or of the people that were there at the time. Yes, there's a better way to do it, and that's why your light is needed on the planet right now.